Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are continuing our look at vestments and liturgy, the worship life of the Lutheran Church. In the past few videos, you've noticed I've been wearing more of the robes or vestments that I wear during the service. I've been wearing the alb and the cincture and the stole. But, dress a little differently today because we're really going to look at something too that's it's kind of sort of part of vestments, it's kind of not, but it is something to really be addressed and looked at. In all my videos where I've not been vested, you've noticed I've been dressing the exact same. Black shirt, white collar. The clergy shirt, the clerical shirt, and the clerical collar. And contrary to popular opinion, it didn't originate with the Roman Catholic Church. Instead, it was invented in 1865 by a Reverend Donald MacLeod, a Church of Scotland minister in Glasgow. And the Church of Scotland is Presbyterian. Of course, Roman Catholics wear them, priests wear them, Lutheran pastors wear them, Episcopal priests wear them, Greek Orthodox clergy wear them, and I've seen various uh, pastors from different denominations wear them. Again, not commanded or forbidden in scripture, but it can and does serve a good and useful purpose for the church. Your typical clerical shirt is going to be like the one I wear. Black shirt, white collar. The two main types of it are the neckband or Anglican, which is what I wear, and then the cab collar, which everything else is going to be black around here, but a little space right here. That's going to be white. But there's a meaning behind it, too. For instance, the black shirt represents that apart from God, we're sinful and fallen. Nothing good spiritually comes from our flesh. Romans 3, 10 and 11 tells us there is no one who is righteous. No, not even one. There is no one who understands. There is no one who searches for God. King David, speaking of our natural condition apart from faith in Christ, says, Certainly I was guilty when I was born. I was sinful when my mother conceived me. Again, as we saw in the previous video on liturgical colors, black represents darkness, death. And really this represents the fact that on my own, I have no righteousness to give. I can't earn my way to God. And so when we look at this, it represents my old nature and the fact that no matter what I try to do, I can never be good enough to earn my way to God. But the white around the neck, or if you look at the tab collar, it's specifically right on the vocal cords. Why would that be? It's because the pastor is called to speak the word of God, to proclaim the saving gospel of Jesus Christ. St. Peter said it so well in John 6, when Jesus saw all his followers leave him from his bread of life discourse. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Again, holy words, because we're speaking the words of God in both law and gospel, law to convict of sin, gospel to proclaim what Christ has done for us. And there's another function for this too. For lack of a better terms, it does serve as my uniform slash work clothes. Think about it this way. You go to you go out in public, you see someone dressed in blue dress slacks, blue shirt, and a big shiny badge on their chest. You know they're a police officer, one who has sworn an oath to protect and serve. That's what the shirt helps do for me. It helps to identify. Myself as a pastor, one who's called and ordained to proclaim the word of God. A 
couple of examples is that so many times while wearing this shirt, I have had been very fortunate to have good conversations with people who've had spiritual questions or maybe were wrestling with spiritual issues. And they knew they could talk to me because I was wearing this. They knew I represented Christ. Another example is with all this COVID-19 going on around us and all the fear and all the apprehension is I went to a meeting for our city here and the chief of the fire department held the door for me to as we went to that meeting when we first started back in March. And looking at me, he said, you're exactly who we need here, a man of the cloth, because we need prayer and we need God. Again, it's not commanded or forbidden in scripture. Again, it doesn't somehow make me more or better of a pastor because I wear it. And it doesn't make someone who doesn't wear it less of a pastor. It doesn't mean I'm going to be more faithful than someone who doesn't because there are pastors who wear this who unfortunately are not faithful to their calling. And there are pastors who don't wear this who are faithful to their calling. There's also pastors who wear the clerical collar who are faithful to their calling. Those who don't, who are not faithful to their calling. But again, it's something that has a good use for the church. It identifies the pastor as one who has been called to proclaim the word of God. And again, it's not required for salvation, but it does have a good and salutary use in the church. That ends this video, and next week we will be looking at, we will go back to liturgical vestments, and we'll be looking at one that is not quite worn so much in my church body. There are a few pastors who do, but it's called the chasuble, and it is a communion garment. God be with you.